Oh, you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? Big P here. You know, don't you? You know. Because <laughs> that's why you tuned in. Right, quick video before I go out. Uh, I want to know why nobody seems to be making a big issue out of the fact that Eddie Hearn has got access to Callum Johnson, Commonwealth Games gold medalist. Joshua Boatsy, Olympic bronze medalist, both light heavyweights in the same stable. Why is he not making that fight? Why? One of them's been in with uh, B2B, Batavia, whatever you want to call him. Fair enough, he, he got stopped, but he knocked, he knocked him down. The first time he's been down as a pro, B2B. So I don't understand why nobody is making a big issue out the fact that Callum Johnson from Lincolnshire he's not getting his he's not getting a fair crack at wit. Now the Watts is managed by Anthony Joshua and I just think that they should make that fight. And you keep saying he wants to do things for the fans. Well if you're gonna do things for the fans and put 50-50 fights on You've got a 50-50 fight on your lap. Callum Johnson against Joshua Boatze is a hardcore boxing fan's wet dream. It's what boxing's about. So I don't understand why they can't make that fight. You know, there's a few fights that they can make. So I'm just going to give you three off top of my head today. Three fights and then I'm off out. But let me tell you this. Callum Johnson against Joshua Boatze must happen in 2021. It must happen. Otherwise, where are we at? where's the sport heading if they can't make that fight? They're from the same stable. It's on his lap. It must happen. It's got to happen. Now, that's the first fight. Joe Gallagher wants it. Callum Johnson wants it. What about Anthony Joshua and Joshua Blatt's it? They're not saying anything about it, are they? Why not? I thought he was supposed to be the next big thing, Joshua Boatze. Was Callum Johnson pushing 36 year old? What's the other one? 27, 28? Make the fight! The second one, let me just have a mint. The, the second one is Liam Smith against uh, Liam Smith against Chris Eubank Jr. I think that's a great fight at 160 pounds. Why not? Chris Eubank Jr. is running around telling anybody that will listen that he can make 168 or 160. So if he can make 160, Liam Smith will fight him. I think that's a great fight. That's a pay per view fight. That Eubank's got, got a world title, hasn't he? Or he's got a couple of IBO belts and a WBA into him. Beefy Smith's a former British champion, former WBO World Light Middleweight Champion or Super Welterweight, if you're going up in front of Boxing World of Control for your second license, like I did. He said, what's 154, Porky? I said, right, Mindle. Super Welter now, they've changed it. But getting back to that, Liam Smith against Chris Eubank Jr. is a great fight. I want everybody to get behind this video and share it on social media, like it, and send it to Beefy Smith and Eubank, Callum Johnson and Boatsy, Eddie Hearn, Sky, Adam Smith. It can't be left for me. It can't be left to me. To be shouting and bawling, ranting and raving, screaming and shouting to get people in line to make these fights because it ain't going to happen. Unless the fans vote with the feet. If the fans demand it on social media, they make the fights. It's got to happen. Beefy Smith and Eubank, it's a great fight. Where's Eubank heading? He's getting married to Chris Eubank. Uh, sorry. Sorry. Eubank's sister's getting married to Eddie Boxing at Matrium. Eddie Earns T Boy Frank Smith with the spot. Spotty Frank. So if Spotty Frank's marrying Chris Eubank Jr.'s sister, he's going to have access to Chris Eubank Jr. all the time. So Spotty Frank, 
make the fight. And we'll get Oxy10 to sponsor you, Frank, with all them spots on your clock. But the fight has got to be made. It's a great fight, man, that. Kel Brook's not going to fight Beefy now. He's done. He's a spent force, so he's gone. So who is there for Beefy now? Where's Eubank Jr. heading? I know they find it hard to wait with Erns because the greedy and the pimps and prostitutes and brassers and all them things that people turn into around the pound note. But Eubank Jr. and Beefy Smith, it's a great fight, man. I mean... <laughs> What, what are we all in the sport of boxing for? I mean, do I look like a lollipop? Has somebody just peed all the way down my leg? Hey, no, they haven't, have they? Because I'm going to tell you straight. But I just think that's a great fight. So um, I think Joe Gallagher would accept that fight. And I think Eubank could feel like he, he, he'd be a favourite in that fight. And you'd probably have to make him a slight favourite, wouldn't you? But I still think that Liam Smith would be there from round eight onwards digging in and biting on his gum shield, but I think it would be a war that fight. It'd be a fight in the pocket, they'd just go at it. So, well, why not? Why not make that fight? That fight's a 20 quid pay-per-view all day. If we're having to watch Anthony Joshua against Cool Brett Pooler for 25 quid, with Lawrence Acolis stinking out the chief support, surely to God, beefy against Eubank, 20 quid. Third fight, I want to see. Another Joe Gallagher fight. And this minute, it's like a spokesman for Joe Gallagher. The third fight I want to see. I want to see Natasha Jonas get a rematch against Terry Harper. That's what I want to see. I want to see that before Steffi Ball goes to prison. That's what I want to see before Steffi Ball gets padded up with Purple Aki. Before the purple one gets a grip of him. <laughs> Steffi will be doing owl if he gets padded up with the purple one. Look, we all had Natasha Jonas winning by two rounds. They were speaking about rematches, blah de blah. It's now gone quiet now. Fighting Dustin Menich and Terry Harper. We've got to see that fight. We were told 50 50 fights for the fans. Well, it appears that it, that, don't, that don't seem to be the case, does it? That, that, that doesn't seem to be. That doesn't seem to be the case. And, and, and why? 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 Because they want to pick up easy pickings for Terry Harper. Oh, we'll get her a few, a few school dinner ladies to knock over. We don't want to fight Natasha Jonas. She's a southpaw who can punch. But what about what's right in the sport, eh? What about what's right? right? That last Natasha Jonas fought her heart out and won the fight. So I think the least that we can do is give her a rematch. If it were Bull Rock or the foot, Steffi Bull would be on his knees begging begging for that fight so that's a fight that I want to see it's not a pay-per-view fight but you could put that as a chief support because they've got history and it's a rematch and it's a world title and two belts online that's a chief support to the Eubank one or if that can't be made you could put Callum Johnson against Boatsy as a chief support uh, under Beefy and Eubank why not there's three great fights there. You could have a bonanza of a show there. Add another couple of fights to that. You could have a great pay-per-view with with, with uh, five fights on it. You could put all. You could put them three fights on one pay-per-view with Beefy and Eubank headlining. Twenty quid. Why not? Why not? I just like I said, we keep we keep being told that boxing's booming. Adam Smith keeps saying. Rough, tough, rugged, durable, all action, compelling, added spice, sizzling. But why don't you sizzle this fight on, Bean? Make the fights. I don't want to see rubbish served up. I don't want to see 40-odd-year-old men being recycled, pool F, back, Pavetkin, and what are they going to do next? Fetch back Malcolm Tam. Lucas Brown, I've even seen his name mentioned today. For, for, for people, I mean, we're, we keep saying boxing is booming, but it's recycled rubbish. Getting back to Anthony Joshua, I'm going off at key here, but who was he really for and who is he chasing? The fact they just want to keep hold of the belt. It's an angle to keep hold of the belt for as long as they can. Well, getting back to them free fights, I want to see 
Callum Johnson against Joshua Boatze. Yes, please. Beefy Smith against Eubank Jr. Yes, please. Natasha Jonas against Terry Harper. Rematch for two world title belts. Yes, please. All right? So, that's how I look at it. So, peace out. Keep on trucking. Keep supporting boxing. I'm now going to drive home in my poker mask. What do you think of that? All right. Big shout out. Innovation Alloys. Big shout out to Frank Inberry, Terry, Beyond the Book, the Beautiful Boxing Podcast, Terry. Big shout out to Rico and all lads on Boxing Asylum. All right. Have a great Christmas. Mm-hmm.